If you've spent any time watching tech videos on YouTube recently, then you've seen some sponsored content from VPN providers. Private internet access. Surfshark VPN. Express VPN. Big shout out to NordVPN. But do you really need a VPN? Is it worth the money? Are they all the same? And how does it even work? Well, in this video, I will try my best to explain all of that. So sit back and let's get started. First things first, I have to mention that nobody is sponsoring this video. I have not been paid by any VPN providers and I'm pretty sure none of them even know who I am. So all of the opinions in this video are my own and only my own. With that said, what is a VPN? VPN stands for Virtual Private Network and its main purpose is to protect you when you browse the internet. Imagine your activity on the internet like you are traveling in a car on the highway. You're out in the open and everyone can see where you are and where you're going. Now, in reality, this highway has millions and millions of lanes all filled with cars, so the chances are nobody cares about you. But if someone did want to check you out, they easily could. Well, in this analogy, a VPN is like going through a tunnel. Now. The satellites can't locate your car, can't see who's in it or where it's going. The VPN creates an encrypted connection between you and the internet. Your IP address, which is normally visible to any website you visit, is now hidden behind the IP address of whichever server you are connected through. This allows you to browse the internet anonymously. Using a VPN brings you several advantages, so let's have a look at a few of the reasons why you may want to consider using a VPN service. Security when using public Wi-Fi. When you're outside of your home, using a public Wi-Fi network is convenient, and it can save you from using up your precious mobile data. However, it is also a security risk, as you don't know who could be tracking your online activity. Anyone else connected to that network could potentially see your browsing history, your account passwords, your banking information, and more. Using a VPN will hide all of this information, keeping you and your device safe and secure. Data privacy. The sad truth is that everyone on the internet wants to have access to your data. Your internet service provider collects information on where, when, and how you use the internet, and they can sell this information to advertisers. Search engines and social media platforms like Google and Facebook do exactly the same thing. Lastly, governments have a history of pressuring companies and organizations to give out access to their user data. Using a VPN while browsing the internet will hide your user data. Access to more content. Many streaming services restrict access to certain content depending on what country you are located in. This is because they themselves only have broadcasting rights to certain films and TV shows in those countries. Using a VPN bypasses this and allows you to watch content on streaming platforms as if you were in whatever country you have selected. Now you may be wondering, is this legal? And the answer is probably. Anywhere in the world where it is legal to use a VPN service, it is also legal to use a streaming service while connected to a VPN. In some countries with questionable internet policies like China, North Korea, Russia, and you get the idea, the use of VPNs is strictly prohibited, and if caught, you could be facing serious penalties. Save money. If you're one of those people who likes to do lots of research before buying something online to make sure you have the absolute best price, a VPN service may be your new best friend. Many types of businesses like subscription services or airlines will offer you the exact same services for different prices depending on your location. By using a VPN and spoofing your location to be somewhere where the prices are cheaper, you could be making some decent savings. One quick thing I want to point out is that not having a VPN service doesn't mean that you don't have any security when you're browsing the internet. You are protected when you visit secured websites, which you can tell by the little padlock symbol to the left of the web address, or alternatively by the HTTPS at the beginning of the web address. This means there is a secure tunnel between you and that website. So any information you submit to that website, such as your username and password or banking information is not accessible to others on the internet or on the same network. 
However, your identity is not protected. So the answer to the question of do you need a VPN service? The answer is no, in the same way that you don't need shoes, but it certainly makes life more convenient and safer. Okay, maybe that was a bit too much. However, in these modern times, data is becoming more and more valuable and exploited by anyone who can. I'm pretty sure AI will get its hands on user data. In fact, I'm sure it already has, and who knows what that's gonna be able to do with all of our user information. So, in my opinion, the price you pay for a VPN service is more than worth it to keep your identity hidden. Okay, so you've decided you want a VPN service. Great, but there are so many different providers. How do you know which one to choose? The first thing you should absolutely make sure of is that the VPN provider has a strict no logging policy. Otherwise, you are just adding a middleman who can sell your data just like your internet service provider or favorite search engine or social media platform. So have a read through the VPN provider's policies and make sure they do not collect or store any user data that is not absolutely necessary. Next, check the provider's encryption strength. Most providers probably use 256-bit encryption, but some may still use the less secure 128-bit encryption, which is easier to break. Then check how many servers the VPN provider has available and also how many countries they have servers in. If you care about having access to content in a particular country, make sure the VPN provider has a server in that country. You should also make sure you get a provider with a fast connection. Using a VPN service will slow down your internet connection somewhat as you're adding an extra step through the encryption and connecting to servers in other countries. This one is more trial and error and no doubt all providers will say you get good speed with them. Read reviews from others or try out the service. Most providers will have a free trial or a money back guarantee. Check what additional features the VPN provider offers. For example, not all providers offer an internet kill switch. This is a setting that automatically disconnects you from the internet should your connection to the VPN service drop out, meaning there's no chance for your sensitive information to be exposed. Another potentially important feature is for the ability to install the VPN directly on your router. This way, any device on your home network is automatically protected without having to install any separate applications. This one is especially useful for me, as on my LG TV, I don't have the option to install an application from my chosen VPN provider, but by installing it on my router, my TV believes it's in whatever country I set it to be on the router. Lastly, of course, check out the price and find an option that matches your budget. I put this one last as even the most expensive VPN provider is probably still cheaper than any of the streaming services, and in my opinion, it's more important to get the right VPN provider than it is to save a few dollars. But of course, given all other things are equal, go for the cheapest option provided they still have good customer reviews. So now you know what a VPN is, why you should have one, and how to choose the right provider for you. But how does it actually work? Normally, your computer or mobile device connects to the internet through your internet service provider or ISP for short. From there, you can visit any website you want, provided the ISP hasn't blocked access to it. However, they can also see your every move, every website you visit, everything you've searched for, and everything you've downloaded. When you use a VPN service, you still connect to the internet through your ISP. However, instead of a direct connection, your device will have what's called a VPN client running on it. This is an application which will establish a secure, encrypted connection through the internet to the VPN server. At this point, your internet activity becomes invisible to your internet service provider. Your device is now sending requests and information to the VPN server, which then forwards this information to the websites you're visiting and then returns their responses. The encryption which happens between the VPN client and VPN server uses a cipher which in the simple terms means the information you're sending and receiving is all jumbled up and illegible. Only those with the secret key can decipher the information and make sense of it. In this scenario, the only ones with that key are you and the VPN server, as both ends need to decrypt and encrypt data. So there you have it. 
Hopefully you've learned what a VPN is, why you should consider having one, how to choose the right VPN provider, and how a VPN works. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and drop a comment down below as it helps the channel to grow. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.